Hi, so your lesson for today is Module 1, Topic 1, Lesson 3.1, Circular Reasoning. And so I'd like you to start by doing the warm-up. So go ahead and pause the video now and on page M1-33, do the warm-up with the four circles. Okay, so hopefully you remember that in our previous lessons, we explored why pi times the radius squared is the formula for area of a circle. And so if you are doing that, remember radius squared is not times two, it's times itself. So they give you the radius for the first one. So you would do four times four times pi to get 50.24. The next one you would do 3.8 times 3.8 times pi and your approximation of pi. We also talked about, talked about that. You could use the pi button, you could use 3.14, you could use 22 sevenths. Always when you're multiplying by pi, you're estimating, right? You're, you're approximating because pi goes on forever, so you can't actually multiply by something that goes on forever without rounding. Okay, so you had 50.24 for the first one, 45.34 for the next one, 254.34 for three, and then four, they throw you a curveball there, they give you the diameter, so you have to cut that in half to get the radius, square the radius, so the radius of that circle is six, if the diameter is 12, so then you get 36 times pi and you get 113.04. Um, and hopefully you used your labels like square inches, square centimeters, square meters, and square feet. And then it says our learning goals for today are to use the area and circumference formulas for a circle to solve problems. So maybe you want to take a second to review. What is the circumference formula? Um, and then calculate the area of composite figures, basically figures that are made up of multiple different shapes. So by the end of today's lesson, if you don't know how to find the area and circumference of figures or to find the area of multiple figures and put it together, then, um, you know, write that down, come to me with some questions, shoot me an email, things like that. Make sure that you're self-advocating for getting the help that you need and um, looking for extra resources to make sure that that happens. All right, so um, the lesson starts with the question, suppose that the circumference of a circle is approximately 157 centimeters. Describe a strategy you can use to solve for the area of the circle. So they're saying if you know the circumference, what could you do to figure out the area? So pause the video and take a second to think about it. Okay, so hopefully you realized that if they give you the circumference, well, we know that pi times the diameter equals circumference. So I am going to um, take this equation and replace the variable that I use for circumference with the amount that they gave me. So if they give me um, 157, then I know that pi, which we know can be approximated with the pi button or 3.14, times the diameter equals 157. So 3.14 times something equals 157. Well, I know logically if this times this equals this, then this divided by this equals this, right? They're turnaround facts or a fact family, just like five times two is 10, so 10 divided by five is two. Okay, so I'm going to divide both sides of the equal sign by 3.14 to get my answer. So that's what they're looking for. They're saying, oh, I could plug in this value for pi and this value for the circumference and use inverse operations to solve for the variable d to get the diameter. So if I get the diameter is 50, because when I divide that's what I get, if I get d equals 50, then I know what the radius is. What's the radius? Right, half of the diameter. So if the diameter is 50, then I know the radius is 25. Then what do you have to do? If you need to find the area, take a second to think about if I have the radius, what do I do to find the area? Right, I'm gonna go the radius times the radius times pi. And when I do that, I will get 1,962.5.
Okay, so to recap, what we did is plug in the values that we did know, use inverse operations to solve for a variable. Once I knew the diameter, I could cut that in half to get the radius. And then from there, I could square the radius and multiply it by pi to get the area. All right. Please make sure that you're trying this on your own and doing your best to think through these before you just go to my answers. And please show all of your work because I want to know that you are actually doing this work and making the effort to learn the material. Because the goal is to not complete the work. The goal is to do the learning. And my goal is for you guys to learn as much as possible. All right. So then it says a friend gave you 120 feet of fencing. You decide to fence in a portion of the backyard for your dog. You want to maximize the amount of fence laid. It says draw a diagram, label the dimensions, and compute the maximum fence area. Assume the fence is freestanding and you are not using any existing structures. Okay, so take a second, read that over again for yourself, and say, what is this question asking? What is it really asking me for? Okay, so I hope you determined that this question is asking you for an area of a circle um, fence where the circumference is 120 feet. So if the circumference is 120 feet, we're doing the exact same thing we did in the last problem. We're taking the circumference, we're plugging it into the equation, we're taking 3.14, plugging it into our equation for circumference, and then we're using inverse operations, aka dividing by pi, in this instance, to solve for our diameter. Once you have the diameter, you can cut that in half to get the radius, and then you can square the radius, multiply it by pi, and get the area. Okay, so what I want you to do is work that out, pause the video here, and then come back and I'll give you the answer and you can see if you've done it correctly. Okay, so hopefully you found that the radius would be 19.1, thus making the area 1,145.5. By the way, you are allowed to use a calculator on this lesson. Sorry for not telling you earlier if you were panicking about this multiplication and division. All right, so that is 3.1. That's your lesson for today, and please email me if you have any questions. Miss you.